What's the next email we have there? The next email is... Oh, by the way, Julio, I'm not a Michael Jackson fan, and so I'm not really defending him. I'm just saying, look, the prosecution has improved their case. I try to be neutral, but wow, when this you got such a shaky, lousy case, this should have never even come to this point. But uh, I am not defending Michael. I'm just saying they haven't yet put on one witness that doesn't have an axe to grind. So while we watch these early photos of Michael as he grows up, what's the next email? If you are not a fan of Michael Jackson, why do you take this side? And what has the Franklin cover-up have to do with the Michael Jackson case? That okay. was from Jackie and Santa Maria. Jackie and Santa Maria. I think I've gotten emails from Jackie before. Jackie, uh, I again, I'm not taking Michael's side. I'm just saying the evidence is so overwhelmingly for acquittal on all charges. With a former Guadalupe policeman who was working as a security guard, basically they said, don't let Gavin or Starr leave the ranch. That was, I think, around February 19th or 20th, right before they did the rebuttal tape. Also, Gavin was still recovering. He had not completely recovered, I believe, at that point, though he was looking a lot better. Cancer can always come back very quickly. Also, these kids had a history of throwing eggs at people, uh, getting into mischief. He got into some brouhaha with one of the Brando kids, and it came out in court today that uh, they had to take a cart away from the Brando kid because he ran the Brando thing. Oh, uh, Brando ran the Brando kid ran this cart over Gavin's foot, and he did a code four. EMT showed up to give Gavin um, some um, treatment. So I look at that and I say Michael Jackson's taking very good care of these kids, and he doesn't want this kid getting out there in the hills in the wilderness because he's Michael Jackson's ranch is really about the last ranch before you start going up to Mount Figueroa. And if those kids were crazy enough to take those golf courts and run all the way into, well, there's a shot in Neverland from the, from the air. Take those, uh, what do you call them, those, you know, they're using golf courses, what do you call them, golf carts? Yeah. Yeah, they got several of them. And if they were crazy enough to go all the way into Los Osos, five, six miles away, and get caught off the ranch driving these things, they might decide the other time to go up Mount Figueroa and get themselves where they got wild cats and really wild animals that don't care if you're dying of cancer. They'll eat you anyway. They're an equal yeah. opportunity uh, predator. So I don't, you know, one interpretation is that, yes, he's trying to hold them against the will, except the mother wasn't held against her will, and that was brought out. She was coming and going. She was leaving. Vincent was driving a visa, uh, you know, these family members off and back and off. So... Another interpretation is just keeping the kids safe and keeping them lined up so he doesn't have to keep collecting the family members to do the rebuttal tape. And I think Michael at that time had uh, had the family under surveillance long enough to know this was a highly dysfunctional family and to cover his own butt after what the Brashear video raised the uproar, he needed to get these kids on tape saying, Michael is a good, he's like a daddy. And that's what they say on the rebuttal tape that you, the general public, have not yet seen. Those of us in the court have seen this rebuttal tape at least four times. So is there another email? Yeah, there's another one. It says, Mr. Wagner, how can I see your whole show? I saw a piece of it on Australian satellite from Japan. And that's from... I can't read that. It's... Asha's from Kim, I think. Yeah. That's a Korean name. <sighs> Miss Kim, I don't know. Uh, you'll just have to wait till we start video streaming on the web. Uh, I don't think anybody wants to sponsor my show on the Asian satellite yet, so and I'll answer them. Producer at OnSecondThought.tv. Boy, the fans are really beginning more joyful, and as the prosecution winds up, uh, I want to go back now and just... It's two minutes late, Michael Jackson is just arriving, but he's late.
And Michael Jackson has arrived in fourth, but by my watch, he's just a few minutes late. He's not letting the pressure get to him, though. He's moving into court, apparently as serene as ever. There it is, William Wagner at the gate of the courthouse with a public chanted as Michael entered about three minutes late and you saw it here on Second Thought. Catch us next week. Here's a fan visibly upset over Michael's getting to court late. Please help us make this a better place. Help us heal the world. We are the voice of the people, the public at large. And we're crying out, where is the justice of mankind? I cannot stop these crimes. Allegations galore of people always wanting more. We try, try to understand that he's only human. human. But if he's guilty, then you can't lock the door until then. How can one man? Help us heal the world.